Well, um, Washington is broken. I think um, most Minnesotans and Americans know that Washington's heading in the wrong track. And I'm really concerned that all the overspending and all the borrowing in Washington is really jeopardizing our economic future. We need a stronger advocate in Minnesotans for the, in Washington for all the Minnesotans that are working hard to take care of their families, to support them, to save for college, to build a better life for themselves. And it seems like there's a very big disconnect with our representative in Washington, Al Franken. Well, I bring some things to the race that others don't. Uh, Number one, I have a very good, strong background in the Minnesota State Senate. I've served in the Minnesota Senate for 12 years. I've been the chair of our Minnesota Senate Tax Committee and the Deputy Majority Leader. But I'm also a mom, a practical person with a husband of 24 years and four kids who are 22, 21, 19, and 15. And it's, a, it's all about their future, really. Well, I say it's encouragement. It's encouragement that we're starting to unify the party that we're bringing folks together around the ideas of solutions from Washington. And when I say solutions, it's practical ways that we can bring the overspending back in line with what the current revenues are. Washington doesn't need even one more dollar from Minnesota. What we really need is for Washington to downsize and be more practical with our money. Well, I see many similar challenges in Washington as I've seen in the Minnesota Senate. I've been in the minority and I've been in the majority in the Minnesota State Senate. I've been the chair of our Senate Tax Committee, as I said. And I know that new people come to St. Paul and think they can change things right away. And some of the folks that have been around for a while don't want to burn relationships that they might have. I think we need to have both. We need to build good, strong relationships with our colleagues. It starts with a foundation of respect for each elected person who goes to either St. Paul or Washington, and then building that consensus around the ideas, making sure that everybody has a voice in what happens. Um, well, um, it's in Minnesota, number one. <laughs> um, they're, they're very similar, but I would say the bigger controversy is corn dog versus pronto pup. And I'm a big corn dog person. It's uh, the cornmeal batter versus the wheat batter, but it's always a source of controversy in Minnesota.